Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of Revolution. Majority of the products will be new products that I've bought and wanted to try and some of them are old products that I already have used on a regular basis. So the first thing I'm taking is this Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate Primer and I'm just rubbing that all over my face. I've been using this for a little while but I probably need something a little bit more heavier than this. And then I'm taking these Revolution Conceal and Define Foundations in 14.7 and 13.7 and I'm taking a dab of each and putting it at the back of my hand and then I just mix it together and apply it to my face using my fingers. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques foundation brush and just buffing that into my skin. So I don't really like to apply too much foundation on my face just because I like to have my original skin peeping through. So I just aim to get a cleaner base basically. Nothing too full coverage. These foundations are full coverage but yeah I only apply a dab of each so that's not really much at all. Before I bought the Revolution foundations I used to use a Revlon foundation which discontinued which is why I was on the lookout for a new foundation and that one matches my skin tone so well. So when these finish I put probably won't buy these again. I'd rather find something that suited me better like the one I had before. And then I take whatever I have left over on my hand and apply that on my neck. Um, I do have a little bit of discoloration on my neck from heat rash and eczema. So I just like my face and my neck to match so I don't look like I'm wearing a mask. So for concealer I'm firstly taking the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer in 13.2 and I'm applying that underneath my eye area and down towards my smile lines. And I'm taking a Wet Beauty Blender by Real Techniques to blend that out. This shade is a little bit off compared to the Conceal and Define. I did use 13.2 before and it ran out. It was a perfect match for my skin tones. So I assumed that the Conceal and Hydrate colours would be the same, but they won't. But I still like the way this concealer works on my skin. It actually works as a colour corrector for me. But I do think the tone is a little bit too orange so that's why I end up having to use two concealers and then I go ahead and take this Conceal and Define concealer in 12.5 and I apply that underneath my eye area and down on my nose bridge and I'm taking the same beauty blender and blending it out so I have used this concealer before this one helps to brighten my under eye area when I first started to use this concealer I didn't really like it because I felt like it was just a little bit too light but I found that by mixing the two concealers, it came out with a better result. So I won't be using any of these concealers on their own because the other one's too orange and this one's a bit too light. So yeah, I just mix them to get the result that I want. So for a lighter under eye, I would usually use the LA Girl Pro in Fawn. But I really do like the Conceal and Define Concealer in 13.2 which is a perfect match for my skin so I probably will be buying that one back and then find another lighter shade to go on top. I'm not really feeling to go and buy more Revolution concealers and have them not really working out for me so I'd just rather go back to what I know especially during these times when you can't even swatch anything in the shop. And I'm taking a little bit more of that concealer just to brighten it up a little bit more. And then I'm taking Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in dark brown and I'm using a Real Techniques angled brush to apply this. I don't do nothing too crazy with my eyebrows. I like to keep them looking as natural as possible. So I'm just using the pomade to outline the top and the bottom very lightly and the outer edge as well. And I'm also filling in that area at the front. I don't use too much of the pomade here because I don't want it to look too heavy. And I'm also using the brush to blend that area out a bit. I usually use a collection eyebrow pencil that's like one pound and I've been using that for years and been happy with it but I will say that this pomade looks a lot more natural and it's mattifying whereas the collection eyebrow pencil is a little bit greasier if you know what I mean so yeah I definitely do like this pomade I rarely use it because I find that the eyebrow pencil is a lot more easier to use and this takes a little bit more time to blend and apply correctly without making it look too stupid. <laughs> I would recommend this product. You just have to find the right shade for you. This shade is perfect for me. I have very dark hair, so yeah. So yeah, that's all I do with my eyebrows. Really, really simple. I don't go ahead and outline it with concealer or anything like that. I just like them to look as natural as possible. And then I'm just taking this eyebrow spoolie to just brush the hairs in the right direction and blending the pomade even more in the front part. 
to set my eyebrows i'm using this collection clear mascara yeah i wasn't gonna buy a whole new brow gel because i'm not really interested in changing my brow gel i've been using this mascara for years and it never fails me so yeah i'm just brushing the front part upwards and then i just sweep the rest of the brow horizontally to follow the natural brow shape and the next thing i'm taking is this conceal and fix setting powder in deep honey and i'm using my beauty blender to apply this i'm just patting it into my skin so i'm taking this setting powder and setting anywhere i put the concealer so that's underneath my eye area near my smile lines and down the bridge of my nose and straight away i could tell that this setting powder was a bit too light for my skin i'm used to using ones that have a little bit more color in them not this pale yellow i just find that it washes me out a bit and this setting powder was extra drying on my skin and because my beauty blender was a little bit damp it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing it was giving my skin a little bit of a shiny look to it and i wasn't feeling that at all it's not paying off on camera but it looks really dry and scaly my skin is normally dry anyway but this amplified every pore wrinkle and fine lines in those areas so i go in with some more using this setting brush i think it's called from real techniques and just tapping that into the eye area and then using my foundation brush to sweep away the excess i usually use the black opal deluxe finishing powder in medium i've been using this for a very long time but yeah that shade is more of an orangey shades so it doesn't make me look too washed out so instead I went in with the loose baking powder in banana, the deep one and I used it on top because I wasn't even satisfied with the coverage that the Avar setting powder gave. So yeah I just went in with that and brushed off the excess with my foundation brush. So I probably will be trying out this product again just to see if I like it because I do believe that it was the wet beauty blender that gave me that shiny look. And as for the banana deep loose powder, nah I didn't really like that one at all, it was actually worse. <laughs> I think it was slightly lighter than the other setting powder and this looked like it would give me a lot of flashback so I probably won't ever use that one again I'll have to give it to my nieces or something for the eyes I'm using this I Heart Revolution S'mores chocolate palette I really really like the shade that's in this palette it's similar to the nudes one that I use all the time this was my first time using it so I wasn't sure how the shades will pay off so firstly i'm going in with dessert and i'm putting this into my crease area this is a darker brown so it's just to deepen up the crease area so i'm just sweeping the brush back and forth and i'm just swinging it out a bit in the outer corner of my eye i'm doing a really easy eye look something that i would typically do day to day and then i'm taking this color called melted it's like a light brown shade and then I'm just placing that into the center of my eye and bringing it towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm bringing it all the way up to my crease and I'm blending it into that dark brown shade. And then I'm taking the color Cracker and placing that into the inner corner of my eyes. I'm using this pointed brush from Eco Tools that I found in Superdrug. And all the brushes I used before were from Real Techniques. They came in the set. For the brows, I'm taking a shade called Gooey it's a really light shade so just highlighting my brow with that i put a little bit too much on so i'm just blending it out to make it look a bit better and then back to the eyelids i go ahead and take campfire and apply that all over my eyelid all of the shades i use so far are matte so i'm just going on top with this glittery shade to bring some glimmer to my eyes and to brighten up the area just a sheer application and then i'm using campfire again using a smaller brush from eco tools and I'm applying that right into that inner corner part of the eye just to brighten it up and highlight it. And that's all I really do for the eyes, nothing too crazy. Next, I'm taking this matte base concealer kit in C13 to C16. I'm using the second to darkest shade in this palette, but I think I needed a darker shade than this to actually do a proper contour. But I did what I could do with these shades. I did end up using the darkest shade instead, and even then it wasn't dark enough. The colours come up a bit lighter than what they are in the palette. So yeah, I'm just dotting it around my face. So near my cheekbones, around my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and underneath my jaw. I'm not really too sure if I will be buying this again, but I probably will use up the product. I'm not really one to contour anyway. I just usually use bronzer. I'm yet to try the concealer shades, the lighter shades, 
But I really do like the formula of this product. It's really creamy and smooth. And the application was really easy. And then I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm dabbing it out. Try not to move the contour anywhere. You want it to be where you've placed it basically, because it can look messy if you place it wrong. And so I'm just dabbing it out and taking away any harsh lines. And what I'm doing here is I am reverse contouring my nose. So I'm just taking that setting powder and going down the side of my nose and down the bridge. And now I'm taking my Real Techniques foundation brush again and sweeping away any excess powder. So I didn't have a contour powder to set the contour. So what I'm doing is taking this matte base powder foundation in P13. The shade looked a bit too orange, but I do sometimes pull for this foundation if I don't want to use my MAC one. But yeah, I just use that to set the whole of my face. So next I'm using the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Enrobe, and I'm just taking my contour brush by Real Techniques and I'm placing that into the hollows of my cheeks, around my forehead and underneath my jawline just to bring back some warmth to my face. I really love the shade in this bronzer and you really don't have to use a lot with this. But I usually use the Revolution Glow Matte Bronzer in dark and this one is a little bit lighter, which I actually prefer because sometimes, say in summer or spring, I like to apply my makeup even lighter. So yeah, this would be a good shade for me in spring and summer. And then I switch over to a blush brush from Real Techniques to apply a little bit to my cheeks because I'm not using the blush in this tutorial today. So yeah, I just apply a little bit to my cheeks to add a little bit of rosiness. Now I'm taking the Revolution Renaissance Flick Eyeliner in black and I'm doing my usual wing eyeliner. Nothing too crazy, just a small little wing. I don't usually have any problems using this eyeliner, but on this day, I was having the most problems. It took me forever to do the eyeliner. So I actually took some of the footage out and I ended up having to use my NYX eyeliner to sharpen the flick. So yeah, it was a little bit of a disaster. I do like the precision that felt tip liners offer, but they dry out too quickly. And I think that's what happened in this video. It was a little bit dry, so it wasn't running as smooth. I had a few others from other brands and they just dry out within say a month or so, honestly. So I think I'll stick to my NYX liner. And the Revolution eyeliner has a sheen finish, whereas the NYX one has a matte finish. And I much prefer to have the matte finish on my eyeliner. I just don't like that shiny look. And so I always, 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 always forget to do my eyeliner. So I'm just taking my Real Technique sponge and holding my eye down instead of using my fingers because I don't want to mess up the under eye area. And I'm just lining my eyes with this Rimmel Coal Liner. Again, I wasn't going to spend money on a coal liner when I know that my liner lasts me a long time. So yeah, I'm just using this Rimmel one. And then I'm taking this Revolution Pro Fix setting spray and I'm spraying that all over my face. And honestly, if you feel like a makeup look isn't going your way or it looks a bit too cakey, just wait until you set your face with the setting spray just to see what it's really going to look like. Now I'm just using my eyelash curler to curl my lashes a little bit because my eyelashes don't grow neatly. They're just all over the place. Now I'm taking this NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. This is a sample that I received in one of my purchases. So I'm just using this to apply about two coats of mascara. And then I'm taking this Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. It's already dried out, so I'm just using this to comb out my eyelashes and to apply a little bit of mascara on the bottom of my eyelashes. And I completely forgot to buy a lip liner for the lip look. So I'm just applying a bit of chestnut from MAC on my lips. And now I'm taking this matte lipstick in Fling and I'm applying that into the center of my lips and I'm just smudging it around with my lips. So I do want that lip liner to peek through. So I'm not gonna apply it all over my lips, mainly in the center. And I'm just using my finger to blend the product more on my lip. When I first tried the shade on, I really didn't like it at all. But now I'm looking at it while I'm editing, it actually looks really cute. And the formula was really nice. It wasn't too drying. So yeah, I definitely will be wearing this shade again. And now I'm taking this Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World. 
and I'm applying that on my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow, just in places where the light naturally hits your skin. I think they might have discontinued this bronzer, but it was one of the popular shades for dark skin girls, darker shade girls, deeper tone girls, you know? It's a really nice goldy bronze shade, so it's not too yellow, it's not too red, it's just perfect. And yes, I guess I'll be using this very sparingly because <laughs> they discontinue it. So yeah. And I'm just using my beauty blender to dab out the areas that look a bit too bright. Because sometimes I go a bit overboard with my highlighter. And now I'm just taking this metallic liquid lipstick that I got in the kit. And I'm applying that into the center of my lips and spreading it around. This is just to give my lips a little bit of a shimmer. So lastly, I'm just going to put some eyeshadow on my bottom lashes. So I'm taking dessert and I'm applying that on the outer section of my eyelid. And then I'm taking melted, I believe, placing that into the center. And then I'm taking cracker and placing it into the inner corner. Just basically matching how I did it on my eyelids. But yes, this is the finished look. And I think I did pretty well using products that I've never ever used before. Well, some of them. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I went ahead and curled my hair. So if you want to see that video, it's up on my channel. I was really, really pleased with the outcome and I probably will be buying some of these products again. But what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.